I want to um, welcome everybody and thank you for attending. I also think that it's really important to thank some other people that haven't been thanked, number one, Chuck. I mean, as athletic director, the hours that he put in that with uh, Dr. Johnson, the, you know, at that time, the principal, um, planning and the organization, meeting with Jerry and, and his, his crew, to, it really is a transformation. It's an unbelievable transformation, because I can say meeting with Jerry early and, and with Chuck and Tom and whoever to sit there and think, are we, are we gonna get this to what we see? And I just can't compliment Clovercar Construction enough, not just for this project, but as we near the end of the referendum, for the many projects that we've been in partnership with, I can tell you there's not anybody in Beloit with more integrity than this guy and his company and what they've done. They've actually wrote checks back to the school district. And so we appreciate it. three kids in the school and they said, we will kill you. <laughs> All done well. Outstanding. I really um, congratulate the Board of Education again. We have a great Board of Education. I say it often. Um, and I say it because I don't need this job. So you can hear that's pretty sincere. Okay. I, I say it because it's true. Because the vision of a district and the ability to make enormous great steps is having the guts and the willpower and the foresight to go ahead and make some decisions that sometimes aren't popular. And a fitness center isn't popular. A pool isn't popular. It's popular with some, not popular with others. I want a, a couple of city council members here, Regina and Anna, thank you so much for showing up. The city council supported us, as did the chamber, as did Lloyd 2020, as did many, many, many other organizations, our whole community. But I think the biggest support I have is coming from now, you know, what should we do, but that dream of what, why not? And, I, and honestly, that's where a fitness center comes in. Because it came in because instead of saying what we needed to do, because we have to do this to repair this building, to upgrade, to take care of our needs fiscally, uh, being responsible, but also they have, they have that dream of why not Beloit? And that's where a Beloit Proud came from. Why not Beloit? Why not have the best pool in Wisconsin in Beloit that has drawn 10,000 people to us already? Why not have a fitness center that when people walk through, they see this and they go, oh my Lord, holy cow, is this a classy, great school? Why not go out and get a football coach and other coaches that we have on our staff already that will take our young athletes, give them a home, love them, and teach them about more than football, but teach them about life and living and being good to each other and being good people. So I'm really proud of Beloit, and I'm proud of the fact that we said why not, and that we would build this and we would make, transform what was a really bad leaking pool into an unbelievable fitness center that we all can, for years and years, be very proud of. So thank you for attending. And today, I'd just like to say to all of us, we need to be polite proud. Thank you. <laughs>